episode of Jay Leno's Garage. As you know, we like uh, unusual cars here, especially unusual cars that are really, really fast. And this one is unusual and very, very fast. What is it? Well, let's find out from the guy who puts it together, Chanu Mapleton. Come on in, Chanu. How you been? Good, Jay. How are you? Now, you might remember, Chanu, he did the uh, BIC Mono. Absolutely. But, uh, we got a million hits on that. Boy. Yes, People indeed. really enjoyed that car. Absolutely. Uh, that was a single seater. And what power that one engine was in that? It's a Duratec, a Cosworth engine. That's right, Cosworth engine. This, but that only had 280 four, horsepower, yeah. Four, four cylinders. cylinders. Four sure. cylinders. And uh, four cylinders and one seat. Correct. This has two seats and eight cylinders. Uh, yes, there eight we go. Eight cylinders. There you go. So. An LS3. An LS3 Corvette engine. Basically, if you threw the whole Corvette body away, you'd have something about as light as this. <laughs> That's right. What does it weigh? About 2,000 pounds? 2,000 pounds wet. Okay. But this is not some silly kit car with a big engine stuck in it. This is really a well-engineered, well-designed uh, car that I imagine in California you would, it would qualify technically as a kit car, wouldn't it? We get it registered under the special construction program. Under special right? construction program. Okay. Yeah. So let's start at the beginning. Okay. You got the BAC Mono. Your wife or friend wanted to go for a ride. Well, all right, let's move on to something. Then you come up with this. So, sure. So where does this, is this your idea? Did some comes to you? How does it happen? So, you know, my company, Sector 111, has been focused on these lightweight sports cars, mm -hmm. Lotuses. We became an Ariel Adam dealer. Then we started importing and building the Mono. So we've always been into these lightweight sports cars. And my friend Dennis Palatov with Palatov Motorsport mm -hmm. had designed a series of interesting cars. One of which is the, the chassis that this car is, in fact, based on. It's the Palatov D2. Okay. So we, I saw that chassis and I thought, this is quite interesting. You know, a V8 motor, it can also meet emissions. So I thought, hey, we can design and build, manufacture an American formula car. And it just so happens to have a V8 in it as well. So and this, obviously, is emission compliant. It's a totally it stock motor, right? It is. Yeah, but it's the, it's the General Motors LS3 E-Rod. Okay. So it comes with the factory cats. We use their engine controller. So okay. it'll meet emissions in all 50 states. Very good. And manual gearbox? Manual gearbox. We're using basically a Porsche 911, a Getrog 96 gearbox, six-speed. Okay. All right. Yep. Very good. Very good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it... Um, a lot of carbon fiber. This is what fiberglass. It's actually fiberglass with a honeycomb core, so okay. very light, very thin, and you know good quality there. But it, it hangs on the on the, a chromoly tube chassis. And I believe the first car you've come up with actually has a windshield. So That's right. Is it because you're getting older? <laughs> you're getting more practical. What happened? Oh, there's definitely some truth to that. I mean, I, I am you know I brought a hat so when we go out for the drive, the sun doesn't yeah. beat me down. But I mean, yes. I drove that BAC <laughs> mono. It was a lot of fun, but. It's like this. Yeah, oh, that's like, hey, right. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, <laughs> it was unbelievable. So you've actually got a windshield. So that's that's something. Yeah, it's a DOT safety glass windshield. And it's actual glass. It so is. It well, is. We are growing up, aren't we? It, Man, in, how about indeed, that? we are. I have gray hairs to prove that. Yeah, and it looks like you got all kinds of room. But uh, before we get in, let's let's go around the car a little bit. I love the front suspension. Can we open that up? Is that possible? We can. Yeah, absolutely we can. We, we designed this car to come apart fairly quick. We have these okay. nice little quick release, quick oh, latches. Oh, that's nicely done, isn't it? Yep. And then we have basically these just little screws on the side here. Right. And then the hood pops right off. We don't have it hinged. We wanted to be able to remove the hood or the engine lid without any tools. Right. And to keep things real simple, you know, I joked around, I called this car the Luddite for a long time when we were developing it because it's so anti-technology, you know, very, very simple. Okay. So you can see the chromoly tube chassis. Right. Gas tank is here. Gas tank is here. It's actually pretty, a fuel cell. Pretty good sized tank. What's it, about 16 gallons? It's, it's about 13 gallons 13, effectively. Okay. I think overall it's 15, but with the foam and the bladder and, and things, it, it uh, ends up being about 13 gallons. And I like the way your suspension works here. Right. A, a, you know, a classic formula car style suspension uh, with a push rod bell crank. Um, okay. We work with Fox Racing on the shocks. Um, you know, these bell cranks, you know, Palatov have got a, a patent pending on this. It's a very progressive design. So it allows for a very, very soft spring rate, yet when it compresses, the rate really jumps. Okay. So the car, you'll notice, does not have any sway bars on it, okay. front or rear. Right. But when you drive it, you're going to see how flat the car behaves. It's, it's really fantastic. And this is your <coughs> luggage compartment up here? <laughs> That's right. This is our luggage compartment. We don't have much here, but, you know, we, we, uh, we actually had a, a cool company up in uh, Portland design this for us, and this is where we... You know, got a little tool kit in here. So you have, no, we call that fitted luggage. That's when you, right, when fitted you buy luggage. like the expensive European, you call it fitted. You don't call uh, it absolutely. a bag. It's fitted <laughs> luggage. 
Very nicely done. What do we have? Oh, obviously your headlights, of course. Headlights, yeah, we're yeah. using all Hella, you know, SADOT, right. you know, quality, and um, LEDs for the turn indicators, by xenon for the headlamps. Full roll cage here. Full roll cage, yeah, triangulated to the rear. Right. Again, the, the wall thin uh, thickness on this chromoly tubing is, is actually, you know, spec for a much heavier car than this. So What do we have, two radiators, one on each side? Two radiators on both sides, correct. Both, one oil, one water, or both water? Both water. Okay. Yeah, both water. And, oh, and the Corvette transaxle here. The, um, no, we're using actually a Porsche. I mean, Porsche I mean Porsche, you yes, said. Yes, yeah, yes, I mean exactly. Porsche transaxle. Exactly. Right. Right. But again, we wanted to have a lot of things on display, and, and in fact, I, I'm going to take the, 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 the engine lid off here for you as okay. well, so you can see what all that looks like. We've got a little screw on the front here. We spent a lot of time just making all this cool here. I'll, let me show you if there's okay. a, always a little trick to these, these gotcha. boutique cars, right? Just lifts right out. Okay. And then you can wow. see all okay. the mechanical bits. Pretty hardy transmission, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. It's pretty, pretty bomb proof. And you but you know, basically a stock LS3 motor. But we spend a lot of time just tidying things up. We wanted all the cool mechanical stuff to be on display mm -hmm. instead of covering it up with a big ugly plastic shroud. Gotcha. You know, we wanted all the stuff to be on display. But yet, we wanted to hide the wiring the, to the best you know ability that we could. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the shocks being on display. It's and just these motors. These great motors are. Virtually maintenance free. I mean, once you put Absolutely. them in, boom, there's nothing to do but change the oil. Yeah. Didn't you once joke that you can fix an LS with a hammer? Yeah, for, yeah that's what it's a Chevy. <laughs> you fix it with a hammer. <laughs> you don't need red tail lights? They are red. Oh, they are red? Yes, they're okay. LEDs as well. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, I, I can't get a break today. Well, well I, 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 I did get stopped by a CHP officer and we had to put red reflectors on the back of the car. Oh, so okay. Had to do that. That's all he got you for, red reflector? Yeah, yeah, that was you it. You are so lucky. <laughs> wow. Then he took, had to take a picture of me in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so okay. He's more interested in the car, to be honest. That, that's what you want. That's Absolutely. what you're looking for. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see what our gauge package looks like. We're using AIM. Right. So we have a couple, three different settings, um, displays, I should say. One, which is a, st a street display. Right. Another, which is a track display. And then third, which is kind of the engineering display, which just shows all a bunch of data. Looks comfortable enough. We'll find out in a minute. I like cars you sit down in. I hate to yes. feel like I'm sitting on top of a car. Just psychologically, it just throws you all off. Yeah, I think you're, you're going to be surprised. Dennis nailed the ergonomics on this car. It's, yeah. it's quite comfortable. We have a couple different seat sizes. We The pedal box actually moves. And then we use seat cushions to adjust people into okay. the seat itself. What brake package do you have on this? So we're using Willwood's uh, billet forged oh, calipers. They're very good. We use Willwood on a lot of our stuff. They do a terrific job. Yeah, I mean, we, we've, we've been racing with the Lotuses with these particular calipers for years, but the, the rotors from Girodisc are also fantastic. It's a yeah. two-piece rotor. Now, do you just run the cat and no muffler? So we actually don't have the cats on this particular car. Oh, we just okay. put uh, our race muffler, our exhaust oh, I package see. on here. Oh, muffler there. Yep, okay, yep. Yeah, yeah. So we have the, the factory cats normally, and then we have actually a, a bit larger muffler that allows us to meet noise at Laguna Seca as well as Lime Rock. Okay. This system's not going to meet noise at either of those locations. No, no. Yeah. no. But it's quiet when you're cruising, actually. It's quiet when you're cruising, yeah. which is about three seconds of the time. <laughs> okay. And Wheels, you're obviously not using any traction control or any factory stuff like that, There's, right? no, there's absolutely no driver's aids on this car, no right. ABS, no traction control, nothing to save you but yourself. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble. Yes. We're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Well, the wheels are really cool too. They come for, they were custom made for us from HRE. Okay. So they're forged, you know, really beautiful. They, um, yeah, they, they, they made those specifically for us. And what do these retail for? A hundred grand. Oh, oh, hundred grand. That's not bad. Right. That's not bad. What was the BAC mono? That was. They're, they start at 230. Wow. And this seems like a more substantial, faster. Uh, it's not necessarily faster. It's a different car, you right. know, but let's just say it's a good American value. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Can we take it for a ride? Absolutely, we can take it for a ride. Well, like, actually, it feels like a normal car when you're just driving it normally. That's kind of a cool thing. Plenty of leg room. I fit in it perfectly well. I'm a big guy. seems so much more practical than the mono. Yeah. Got yeah. a normal windshield, you can travel at freeway speed. Right. It's, it's actually quiet enough in here to have a conversation when you're right. uh, when you're not in the top of the rev range. Yeah, exactly. I mean it feels like a really light Corvette. Mm-hmm.
all the heat is away from you because it's behind you. So right. a lot of times when you drive a front-end inversion and all well, the heat's coming right. You know, there's no, uh, they want to keep the weight low so there's no insulation or anything. Right. Good job on the suspension. Thank you. Yeah, we're really happy with how it's turned out. It has so much grip, it's insane. Yeah, yeah. You'll see. Yeah, a lot of grip. Yeah, lots of grip. Running nicely. Today's probably the hottest day of the year. And <laughs> I know, it's blazing out right now. We just saw one of the Singer boys. You know, Rob Singer tests his cars up here, all his Porsches. Yes, he does. And uh, I thought maybe he would tangle with us, but uh, I guess he didn't want to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> this thing throws a lot of rocks out the back. It sure it? does. It's got yeah, sticky yeah. tires. Well, this is a lot of fun. And you know, I must say, I mean, I like the BAC Mono, but this this is more my kind of car. You can carry someone. It's got normal lights. I mean, normal uh, windscreen. You know, and it's actually. The ride is very nice. It's not harsh at all. Yeah. I noticed going over those, we have these, uh, call them boss dots in, in the middle of the road here with the reflectors. And when you hit them, a lot of cars, it's like a kidney punch. Whereas right. this thing just seems to step over them. So we'll head back to the shop. We'll take it up on the freeway. We've never really gotten out of third gear in this thing. So let, let's take it up on the freeway. And uh, as I always say, see how it cruises. Come on. that is. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Jay. Uh, you know, I, I, you're really going in the right direction. I, I, as much as I like the BAC Mono, this makes more sense to me because you can take a passenger, you've got a windshield. Absolutely. You know, the wife will actually go with you in this one, <laughs> which is kind of fun. And boy, extremely comfortable and like, you can't beat Corvette power. Like I say, it's a Chevy. You fix it with a hammer when it breaks. That's right. Uh, what's it, about 100 grand, you say? 100 grand. Yeah. Hey, that's what you get for 100 grand. Motorcycles. So uh, there's no Dicci's, just about 100 grand, so. That's right. And uh, boy, it, it's, you got all kinds of power. Congratulations, good luck with this, my friend. Thank you, sir. Keep bringing us your new project. I, I will, I will. We I like got some this more. guy. <laughs> See you next week. Mm -hmm. 